The world of ancient Egypt is fascinating. The people were far more advanced in their ways of life than others in their time. In prehistoric times, Egypt was divided into two regions, a southern region and a northern region. The southern region was known as Upper Egypt. It was named because it was located upriver in relation to the Nile's flow, which consisted of hills and highlands. Lower Egypt, the northern region, was located downriver near the delta and the mouth of the Nile. The Nile flooded each year. It coated the land around the river with the rich silt. The silt made the soil ideal for farming. Without the floods, people never could have settled in Egypt. In Egyptian society, the pharaoh was at the top. He had nobles that helped run the government and temples. Scribes and craftspeople followed below them producing goods. Most of the Egyptian population were made up of farmers, and below them were servants and slaves. Early Egyptians took their religion very seriously. They believed that the gods of Egypt had magical powers that could protect them from bad things that happened in their lives. They especially had a strong belief in the afterlife and spent much of their time preparing for it. As part of the preparation, three essential things were needed for the Ka, the spirit, to continue to live after death. A body that would never decay, a resting place that would never be disturbed, and a supply of food, clothing, jewelry, and tools that would be needed for a comfortable afterlife. Some of the great wonders of their ancient world was their architecture. Elaborate pyramid tombs were built as a resting place for the pharaoh's cough or spirit. Another wonder was the Great Sphinx, which had the head of a man and a body of a lion. The Egyptians were the first to create a written language known as hieroglyphics. These were pictures and symbols that represented ideas or sounds that were said to have magical powers that came alive in the afterlife. As you can see, the Egyptian society was quite advanced for their time, which is why we still base many of our ideas on their ways of life.